to another ride along with goggles and uh well it's been a long time <laughs> it's been over a month since i've driven this truck and uh man it's about time so the reason i wasn't oh you know what i'll talk about it once we get going because this is an urgent delivery we're in uh where are we eureka i think we're heading no we're in redding i believe and we're heading for uh burns oregon but uh let's just check that on the map make sure i got it all right yeah redding to burns I was looking at a trip here earlier and it stuck in my head. Sorry about that. So, yeah, it's going to be scenic because this is a really decent road. Um, it's nice and it's early morning and uh, let's get going. Or I should say it was early morning. <laughs> it doesn't appear to be now. Game time is 7.38. Let's see where are we going out that away. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, the CLT 9000, of course, from uh, Rush Hour 109. Got my Alberta Heavy Haul skin on there. And, of course, that's up on Steam. I'll put a link to the truck in the description. And the trailer is Pinga's new Fraxan trailer. So, uh, that's my first trip with it. Now let's see how we get on here. I got the, uh, Turn oh, left. Oh, what do they call them, the retro, uh, retro developments, uh, 24 5 wheel pack, but it's their, I think it's their Alcoa Dynamic is the wheel we got on here today. And uh, the reason I hadn't used this mod in quite a while is I bought it last April, I think it was, uh, somewhere around there. And when 146 came along, uh, it appeared to be, uh, After yards, turn left. when I'd be sitting in the truck like this and I'd look out the mirror, we'd be half submerged in the ground. Turn left. Oh, where's the grind? <laughs> and, uh, you'd be, the mirror would look like you were, uh, stuck in the ground. Oh, look at this. We got, uh, Already, traffic signs hanging up in the air here. I noticed on the way, yeah, look at that sign hanging there, Spring Gulch. So that was a traffic light we couldn't see. And I stopped and took out the longer yellow lights mod, and it didn't make any difference. So there's some traffic lights we can't see. Uh, maybe, I'm not 100% sure what's causing that. So, we'll keep an eye on that. Um, but anyway, back to the truck. Uh, I was checking on it. I just wanted to see if there was an update for 146. And it turned out I'd missed an update in, oh, earlier in the, or late summer or sometime. There was an update and I didn't get it. And so I updated it and the mirrors are good. So this is his 145 update. There's probably gonna be another one to come. Well, it's nice to be back in this Keep truck right. again. After 50 yards, turn left. Oh, turn left. I thought I... Oh, wait a minute. I actually got milk. Turn left. She's saying turn left. And the map says go right. Oh, Lori. What are you doing? So, you know, getting back to the truck, so I upgraded it, and uh, now the mirrors seem to be working fine, but it is 145, so, uh, version, and I expect it'll get updated for 146 at some point. So... Uh-oh. I'm gonna have to take extra care of my shifting because it's uh Keep left. It's not working. After uh, 50 yards, turn left. That's not as seamless as it normally would be. Turn left. So this is another missing light. So I guess you'll have to follow the policeman out. Oh. 
Hey, copper, look at that. There's a drug bug. <laughs> Go get him. Uh, that's funny. Uh, so, for the shifting sounds, I put the really fuller transmission mod in here. And for some reason in this truck, I wasn't getting the, uh, the shifting sounds with that mod. So, I put in... Oh, dude, come on. Wow. Uh, uh, I put in the... Uh, it, I, I think I have the... Uh, which one is it? The, Fre the Freightliner Classic sound effect, uh, interior sound effect mod from Z-Mod. And now I have the shifting sounds. Which is weird, because they usually come with the uh, really fuller transmission mod. Oh, and if you think I'm winding the heck out of this thing on the tack, this uh, tachometer in this truck reads about 300 RPM too high. Which is something I wasn't fixed in this update. Mustang going there. I'll have to uh, message him again on uh, Facebook and see what's going on with that. If it's something they can look into, maybe fix it would be good. Keep right after 50 yards. Exit right ahead. Exit right ahead. If there's any lights down here. Keep yeah. right. After it's funny how it's yards, turn right. kind of random how they're missing. Turn right. Ooh. Getting grindy today. Again, this area here, if you haven't uh, seen previous videos or you haven't been in this California in a long time, like a lot of guys avoid California because of speed limits. But uh, it's uh, this is all part of that rework that came out 144, I think. And they sure fixed it up a lot because, man, it was abysmal. In the bay, you know the original version of California, but of course it was their first, you know, base game state, and uh, they fixed it up pretty good. Uh oh. Sign got my photo. I'll try again at some point. Pretty scenic through here, though. Oh, crasher. I think these guys are struggling with the hill. I might have to do a little tutorial on how to, uh, on the camera, for you, how the camera works. Uh, it's different now. And 146 is going to drop here any day. It may drop by the time you see this video. So, maybe later today, this, I'm recording this on Monday. Yeah, it, oh, here 
those birds singing. Try and stay off the throttle for a minute here. I can't hear him now. Thinking we got close to those trees, might be able to hear, but no. Wow, big stutter there. The frame rates here aren't terrible. We're getting over 100. It's like as soon as we get away from the buildings, it jumps way up. They're now 1.30. Jump inside the truck and see what happens to them. Yeah, still high 120s. Another nice climb here. Wow. So, yeah, if you haven't driven down here since 144, uh, it's worth coming down for a trip. Looks like the pyrometer actually works on this truck. That's the top left gauge there on the dash. I'm leaning way over so you can see it past the steering wheel. It's doing its thing. It should cool down now that we're going downhill. That little orange needle should... Yeah, it's going left. That's cool. This thing's got a working pyrometer. The manifold pressure's over there on the right in between the clock and the... Uh, what is that? Uh, water temp? Turbo? No. Trans temperature. It's kind of weird that they'd be separated like that. You'd want those two together, you'd think. But yeah, this is a nice drive. Real nice. I've taken it. We're probably going to join up with the road that comes up from Truckee at some point. I've been on that one before, but boy, that uh, little road uh, section here we we're on, I don't really recall it. That could be our... Oh, where we head north up there? No, we keep going straight. I've been on that one to the north before, so that's curious. You want to look at the map and see what's going on there. Where would we go there? Oh, Hatfield and oh, uh, Klamath Falls. So I've probably been on the road going the opposite direction. So we're heading east. I would have been going west and up to Klamath Falls. Lake. That's always nice. So this road through here on the default game was pretty different. It had some really sharp corners in it. Just it was like cottage country, you know, with the really sharp, windy roads, poorly developed road. If you've ever been in, you know, Canada or northern U.S. and cottage areas, I guess it'd be the same, like in Georgia or somewhere too. They don't spend a lot of money on those roads. <laughs> Let's get out and look at the old girl. Oh, the, uh, yeah, what's new too is um, the exhaust pipes are new. And... Uh, there's more fender options, like you can paint those rear fenders now. Uh, that, those tanks are new. Uh, the fuel tanks. Not sure on the trailer cables. That looks like a new thing too. I'll have to go back and look at uh, photos I've taken, screenshots. Uh, let's know what we're doing. 
super door. Straight through. So we've been to the right before. Makes me wonder if I've been on this particular road. Let's see if we zoom the map out. Uh, the dash map. That doesn't really give us a clue. Yeah, I must have been on this one before. Oh, we'll know if we see up here, up ahead, a big uh, wrecking yard on the left that they tripled in size <laughs> with the update in 144. Yeah, this all looks familiar now. So, yeah, pretty exciting news with the today being Monday. I got it. Oh, man. What time do I have left on the 160 miles? Oh, I guess I can rewind the live stream. They're live streaming uh, two more trips in Texas today. I kind of think after they get that live stream done, we're going to see 146 any anytime. Oh, another CLT going the other way. But I think 146 is going to drop any any minute. Probably want to get some last minute bugs out because uh, it's next Tuesday, Texas is out. That's pretty exciting. So, for my Texas DLC giveaway, uh, you guys got a week. Get your photos in. Well, it's pretty simple, and uh, as I've mentioned before, there's three. I'm giving away three Texas DLCs and recon is doing three as well so that's six DLCs and the rules are simple all you got to do is you know whichever whoever photos get the most votes uh, on channels that I set up and recon has set up for the Texas giveaway um, so you take a photo of your truck in a you know nice setting nice sky whatever nice lighting and in a goggles 56 skin on a development property or, or one of Recon's updates in the Montana expansion. And you're going to have more opportunities for that because he's going to drop his uh, uh, recently updated uh, Montana Exp expansion 2.0 with the uh, with the changes, the uh, Hell Creek Ranch and stuff and a bunch of other things. He's got as you've been seeing lately in Steam Workshop, yards, turn right. there's a whole bunch of uh, new uh, DL, uh, turn right. cargos available from Darkness. And those tractors that are in combines on those loads, uh, Darkness and Recon are working together to get models of those that can be put in the game as static. And Recon's been putting them all over the place. Uh, dealerships alongside the highway. So instead of seeing that blue tractor with orange wheels, you're going to see uh, nice, uh, proper looking equipment from, you know, the equivalent or from Farm Sim. And uh, so they have really nice details. So you're going to see a bunch of that alongside the road at dealerships and wherever uh, what else the ranch of course uh, oh man I can't remember all the changes there's a lot so he's, he, the size of the map has grown like so that tractor there you might still see it like in Montana you might see that as uh, a proper tractor oh Hold on there, buddy. All right. Now we got a uh, 60 mile an hour speed limit here. We're out of California. But yeah, big things coming. So, yeah, so if you uh, guys uh, get on 
to either recons or my discord i'll try and put links below um, i think on my discord there's a link to recons i'll put links to my discord and there's a texas dlc giveaway channel get your photos in whoever gets the most votes the top three people with the most votes for their skin like that's a thumbs up or a positive reaction to this photo top three are going to get uh, Texas DLCs and what I'll need for that is your uh, you got to be a friend on Steam and I think most of the people who are on my discord are friends on Steam and if you're not you'll have to send me a friend request if you win and then I can uh, gift you the uh, Texas DLC That's a cool thing. It was Recon's idea. He was doing it. He's been doing it on his uh, Discord for a while. I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it could, it's good for participation. Gets guys thinking and doing stuff. And I think a lot of the people who join my Discord anyway are into using my skins. So it's just a way of, you know. I, I appreciate that, and so when I see the stuff out there in my skins, it makes me happy. It makes me, you know, I don't take payment for my skins, but I get uh, satisfaction of seeing them in use. And, uh, the DLCs is my way of giving back to you guys for using my skins. Pretty simple. And I don't believe in taking payment for them because well, all kinds of reasons. There's enough stuff you got to pay for. And there's mod trucks and all this sort of stuff and that are really you know nice. I like them. I got a lot of them, but I can't justify adding to your burden by charging for the skins. And if I did, it would become a job. And making skins for me is a hobby not a job and I shouldn't charge for it. That's kind of my feeling. And Recon is the same way with this map. So, that's cool. That's kind of how we hooked up with that sort of similar attitude and feeling about things. Sixty miles to go, and that live stream starting in five minutes. <laughs> so I look at my clock, but I, I can uh, I can catch it and watch it. You don't have to start at the beginning. Uh, I, sorry, when they start, I can always catch up on it. It's on Twitch. Um, let's check our parameter. Yeah, it's way down now. We are climbing. I gotta adjust my steering wheel so I can see that better. Yeah, I'm liking the uh, trailer pulse nice. So with this trailer, maybe it'll change as I've had it in the game for a while. Uh, maybe I'll get more loads, but uh, it was hard to find a load where I wanted to go. I had to advance a lot of days, but maybe that's populating the map with potential cargo uh, or trips. And if you've seen images of this, you've seen it with two uh, 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 containers on it. And you see that load, that's empty. And if you get a load, a full load, it's... Yards, turn right. A full load has... Uh, uh -oh. oh, I'm missing that gear. Turn right. So a full load uh, is one container, and it's 48,500.
boy, when I was uh, doing the uh, driving to make money for my company when I first started this uh, game, I drove this road quite a bit too. I didn't take that road, we just turned off a very many times. It was running through Burns to Bend to uh, you know, Olympia and Seattle and places like that. a lot. But we're getting close. It's around the corner. So that's pretty neat that the sound of shifting and everything else is coming from a John, uh, sorry, a Z mod mod file and works on this Ford truck. Go straight. That's kind of out there. I'm surprised by that, but I'm going to experiment with that a little more. Uh, with various trucks and see what's going on with it, because it's just totally surprised by that. Oh yeah, and the subscriptions on the weekend. I had a bunch of subscriptions this weekend, and if any of you are watching, thank you. And really, oh wow, that's ugly. Wow, hard to get good help these days. It looks like, man. I have to go change the oil in this gearbox. Looks like your place is going to be on the left up there. Oh no. going on with that traffic up ahead. Oh, he's going straight through. Ow! Oh! Go straight. A murder in this gearbox. That guy's swinging to the right, so he's probably turning left here. Yeah. That gives us a chance to get over there. And we're going to a Lennar, just up the road here. Better jump in so you can see what's going on here. Oh, wow. Not getting along very well with this transmission. Probably not too happy with me. <laughs> Keep left. There we go. news uh, try it okay yeah that's what you get when you got hard parking turned on <laughs> uh, well, let's go we'll go around the site counter clock or clockwise um, so this rush hour 109 I don't know if you've seen videos I've done in the past with the he's got a Marmon 110 P or uh, cab over there's a P 110 I think that's the way it goes and uh, it's a pretty neat mod, and he's doing updates to it. Uh, they're going to be coming out uh, fairly soon, I hope. I hope he moves the front axle forward. Because it's like the front axle is not centered in the front wheel well. Um, but he's also working on a Freightliner cab over. And I'm really looking forward to that. So good stuff there and I think um, 
ATS Custom Mods is working on a uh, Freightliner cab over too, I think. Well, we've put a lot more difficult trailers than this into this spot, so we'll see how we do here with this one. I think not too many videos ago we put a double low boy into this spot. Can't remember what tractor we were driving. Calling that a collision? I guess it is. Just wait a couple more. Let's clear it like that. That should work. There we go. Uh, that was pretty pernickety. get this straightened out a bit. That's a little ugly. Not a good way to start off the work week. Doing a sloppy park job. Uh, big load of I don't know why they're using frac sand here but <laughs> maybe it's uh, maybe they got some other purpose in mind there we go yes loud here what are we looking for that one yeah we got realistic fuel turned on on this mod, uh, profile 352 miles fairly good money it's pretty good nice well, guys, as always, uh, appreciate the heck out of you, and thanks for following along and making this little enterprise of mine grow, because uh, this has been, it's a, it's a blast for me. I love it, and I like the fact that you guys are following along, and uh, it's just growing day by day, and um, let's just keep doing it. And uh, as I always say, if there's things you want to see, um, trucks, trips, trailers, whatever, throw it in the comments, and if not, like, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing and uh, enjoying myself because this is just, I mean, I love it. This game, <laughs> it's so good. I hate calling it a game because to me it's a little bit more just, uh, it's, uh, it's really good. Anyway, you take care, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.